I'm looking for the best way to attend the Farnborough International Air Show. And guess what? I think I found it at Kearsera SGS in their VIP aerospace event. You guys are known for your aerospace work. Why is this? Well, we find that the solutions we provide cater particularly to aerospace. Uh, what we, as the aerospace develops new materials, lightweight materials, always looking for fuel savings, we're always looking for solutions to cut those materials. And as long as we can continue to get on a project-based solution with aerospace companies, that's our primary target market. So aerospace, immediately I'm thinking aluminium, things like that, but that's, it's all changing. Correct. It could be anything from aluminium to titanium to any of the new composite materials that are coming out as well. And with those, big challenges with composites? Definitely, especially the wear factor on the cutting tools. Okay. And Kyocera purchased SGS about two years ago. How's that gone? It's gone quite well because in the past, as only SGS tool, we were known as an end mill and drill solution. But now, being aligned with Kyocera, we have a product portfolio that allows us to provide solutions in many other categories as well. Well, it's Kyocera SGS have a number of partners. What's your involvement with them? Well, we've been working with uh, Kyocera SGS for, for a number of years now. This type of event is very important to us. Um, the aerospace market is growing considerably, and it's very important that we bring together our areas of expertise and our latest developments to provide aerospace manufacturers with solutions. Michael, working closely with Kyocera SGS, you've come up with a great solution. What they have for you? Yes, uh, we had a problem with uh, a component that had uh, been hardened, it was a stainless steel. And uh, we contacted Steve Neal from SGS, uh, told him what the problem was. Uh, he came back with us within about an hour, told us what cutter we needed, he just even told us speeds and feeds in which to run it at. And, uh, and it went through, it was like a knife through a butter to be honest with you, we couldn't believe our luck. Um, we, we were told there was 15,000 pounds worth of scrap that was going to be sitting there and uh, the fact that we could actually do the job, turn it round, meant, meant the jobs were okay. So a great example of communication, collaboration with the guys and real help to you? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we met Steve at the NEC, uh, at the, the MAC um, ex exhibition and um, we've been working with Steve for some time but to be honest with you, we never thought we'd get through this job because it was that hard. But I uh, say, so give Steve a ring, and within an hour he'd come up with a solution. We ordered uh, through the supply, which is MSE JNL. We got the job, the uh, cuts come through the following day, and, and we turned the job out. And um, our company was only waiting the best part of two days from when they come uh, from the, uh, the other supplier. So we're a specialist NC program service to the aerospace industry, so are using mainly Katia and Siemens NX software to program you know, small um, structural components up to the largest uh, structural component, wing skins and spars. This is what we do. Okay. So how you got involved with Kyocera at SGS? Mm, we've well, we've known of them for many, many years. But uh, the we we had uh, cycle time reduction and optimization projects to get involved with, and we were aware of um, several of their tools, which would uh, enabled us to actually produce reduce cycle time components. So, okay, I'm going to throw a big one out here. What sort of cycle time reductions can you expect? We were using the tools. We typically expect a 25% cycle time reduction. But with one of our Italian customers, we actually achieved a 75% cycle time reduction. This is both with new technology machines, but also traditional old technology machines such as Cincinnati, Millicron, multi-spindle, slow spindle speeds. So it, it can be achieved across the range of machines. So, so a great partnership with Kyocera SGS. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, very, very good. Lee, you're new to Kyocera SGS, so why are you here? Well, effectively, we've just recently invested heavily in new modern technology, new machine tools with much higher spindle speeds. And in order for us to get the best out of them, I need to understand the latest tooling strategies, the latest cutting tools, what's out there and best methods, so we can continue to offer a competitive service to our 
customers that we make subcontract parts for. You've already put some of the guys on, you know, some tricky questions I've, I've heard. Well, they, I mean, we're here, they're uh, the APR3 and the APR4, um, they were using very successfully to rough out this demonstration component. I was quite surprised, 10 minutes cycle time for a bit of that, it was quite impressive. Um, obviously, we got the Lang system there as well, which um, I was quite impressed with, with the height of the height that the component was hanging out the vice. Um, but what I was surprised about was they went back to the old technology and used an S-carb um, cutting tool for one of the finishing applications instead of the APF, which is, I can understand the logic in that, why, why promote a cheaper tool when they've got their latest APF here. But apparently it's to, all to do with uh, the entry points and they were trying to establish that um, the range of their tools, if you've got a large airframe component, it saves time on tool changes rather than going from one pocket all the way back to the tool change and the other. Um, but yeah, interesting. Um, we've got a little bit of a learning curve, I think, in terms of um, strategies to do. We've, uh, we use SolidWorks and EdgeCam at our place um, and Hypermill, so we need to get the best out of it. Neil, you're a distributor of Kears here, SGS products. Why is that? We find that they give our customers excellent solutions, uh, offer good value for money, and uh, just improve the, the general operations for them. Okay. And why are you here at the event today? To see what's new with uh, SGS, uh, what products they've got coming onto the marketplace. Yeah. That's key. APR 3 and 4? Yes, yeah, it's very interesting. So I've just seen the demonstration on it, and uh, you know the way it operates, the, uh, the vibration reductions, the noise reductions are fantastic, so it's obviously doing a very efficient job. Greg, you're from Grob. What's your involvement with Kiss here at SGS? We supplied the machine to SGS uh, in a partnership uh, because of the, we have some neutral customers in the aerospace industry. Uh, the machine is good for showing off their cutting tools um, and it's good for the customer. They can come here and use the facility here on the cutting tools and the machine and find out the best solution for them. Jose, air conditioning, check. Stereo, check. SGS Kiyosera, all your partners, Farnborough Air Show, tell me a bit about it. I think we're missing the Top Gun song. Um, well, you know, I think this is just taking off. And uh, I feel that we are miles above the competition. The best way to come to this event, Colin, is just with Kiyosera SGS. We've had a fantastic day, so basically get yourself registered for the next event. You're going to get a bigger bus. Certainly, by all means. This is, as I said, taking off. Thank you very much. I have to go. One final question, Jose. Uh, what does that red button do? I have no idea, but I'm going to press it. Boom.